Hey guys, welcome back to Gypsy Bay Creations. Tiara here, and I am so excited about today's soap. Like, I am over the moon with the concept of today's soap. And I might have gone a little overboard with everything that I planned to do in this soap, but I just can't help myself. I, I have to do it all. And let me tell you a little bit about it. So space and galaxy themed things seem to be in right now, like clothing and books and movies and soap. And I wanted to make a soap that kind of went along with my moon soaps. I've made moon in bed soaps with like little clouds and stars and stuff on top of it for every season. But now that I've done that, I wanted to take it a step further. So I recently saw a video by Mama Bass, and I'll leave the link to her YouTube channel down below, but she made the coolest soap I have ever seen. Like, it is out of this world cool. And I wanted to take her concept and put it together with my moon in bed soap concept and see what I got. So let's get started and make this moon soap, space soap, galaxy soap. Let's get started. going on here. I'm going to make two loaves of the soap. So I've got a larger bucket of oils and lye. And not only am I making two different loaves, they're going to be two different scented loaves. So I really, really have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, the planets are going to be these little balls here. These I've made up from a soap that was a fail soap and I just rolled some of the pieces up into these balls. Some of this is soap dough, and some of these are soap ends from different soaps I've done. Um, Mama Bess actually shows you how she rolls up all her um, soap dough balls, and again, check out her channel and see how she did it. Um, I'm just using this kind of like a confetti soap to where I can use up loose ends of different soaps that instead of wasting them or not knowing what to do with them, I'm going to incorporate them in, into a new um, batch of soap. I also have some soap shreds. These I'm hoping to put inside the batter and make them look like the stars when I cut into it, like little white specks. I've got a moon in bed, a sun in bed, and a star in bed to go on top of each soap. So this is going to be a crazy, intricate, in-bed filled soap. Like there's going to be in-beds inside and on top. So cross your fingers. Alright, so I'm going to start with this batter and I really, really have to pay attention to every step that I am doing here so that I don't miss anything. But let's start with, as always, our lime water solution with a little bit of lodium sac... Lodium... Hold on sodium lactate, I got this, and pouring that down the handy dandy kitchen vibrator. Giving that a whirl and giving it a light trace. All right, and before I do anything else, I'm going to pour some of this plain batter into two separate bowls. Now the majority of the soap is going to be black, but I wanted to put like a little galaxy or Milky Way looking design in it as well. So I've got some amethyst purple mica from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I'm just going to pour just a little bit into each one of these buckets. And then I'm going to take the rest of this, I'm going to weigh this out so that I can get equal amount for each loaf here. Let's see how much we weigh. So it's about 71. I need a calculator. <laughs> I'm going to say 72. We need 36 in each. So let's do this. Uh, 
that's not right because I didn't weigh the bucket. I don't know how much is in the bucket. Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. So, I've got a couple different black colors here. I've got some Black Knight Mica Powder from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm just going to divide that into each batter. And then I'm going to add some activated charcoal into each one of these. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of black onyx flare from Nurtures for some sparkle. And whip each one of those up. I should probably start with the purples first, huh? going to be an Azurite Sky from Crafter's Choice. Pour that into one, not get them mixed up. And then I have a whole bunch of these little samples from Brambleberry of Dogwood and Ginger. I'm going to pour these individual bottles in. in there. Set that to the side. Pour in a layer of this. And put the embeds inside. I'm going to try and line these up where I plan to cut each one. here. And I'm going to do this purple and just give that a little swirl.
first one. Clean that up a little bit. Get started on the next guy. And this guy, I'm going to add the shreds. Messiest mess ever. Messiest mess ever. Oh. Like, I've just got this everywhere. Okay. I won't tell. Alright. Going to clean this up and get the icing together. Can you come turn the camera off for me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got my fluffy icing for my clouds here. And I never ever claim to be the most grateful, graceful soaper, but I think in the end I pulled it together. So let's start by putting some dollops on here. So let's get the embeds on here. I think I'm going to start with the sun embed on the sides. Now this is going to be a challenge because this is a lot of embeds to line up. to get right. Alright, so I want to talk about this whole spike. No. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about this whole space thing. Um, when I think of galaxies and stuff, there's things that come to mind like Star Trek or Star Wars. Um, and one of the things that I am doing right now is I'm listening to an audiobook. If you don't know, I love books. I usually read a lot of books. I always have a book on me, whether I'm going to work or going to bed. There's always a book somewhere nearby. Um, but on my commute to work, I like to listen to audiobooks. And it kind of keeps me occupied and entertained, and it also keeps me focused. And, you know, the drive to and from work isn't so bad when you're listening to an audiobook. And the ones that I'm listening to right now is a series called The Lunar Chronicles. And when I first read what this book was about, I kind of rolled my eyes. I was like, there is no way I'm going to like this book. It's like fairy tales, like Red, like Red Riding Hood and Rapunzel. Cinderella and it's cyborgs and it's futuristic and it just sounds very silly. But I'm now listening to the third book in the series and I'm in love with it. So now when I think of space, I imagine these characters from this book. I don't know why. <laughs> there it's like not 100% set in space. It's really weird. Um but there's a, a a planet in there called Luna and it's supposed to be people living on the moon and I'm trying to think of some cool names for this soap and I want to change my mind I'm going to put this this bar they're going to be on the side like this so I'm trying to think of some really cool names and I and I might go back to 
that series and come up with some clever names that have to do with the Lunar Chronicles. I just love these moons. Aren't they cool? They're so pretty. What do you guys think of when you think of space? What are your favorite things um, to, I guess, compare to galaxies and such? I know I'm really, really big fan of Star Wars. I never really cared for Star Trek. Um, my favorite class in college was astronomy. You know, I just had to take that just because. But I took it first thing in the morning and I, I gotta say it was kind of boring because I wanted to fall asleep to it. And I don't have enough moons. No, I already put them in. Look at that. Stars. Duh. So the glitter I'm putting on this is from Brambleberry and it's um, rainbow sparkle glitter. Put that on there. I just did a lot of random rambling there of things that I don't even think went together. <laughs> Of my life. Audiobook, space, school, you know. One thing to the other. Alright, I think that looks good. So I'm gonna give that a spray. And then I'm gonna let this sit 24 to 48 hours. I'll come back to cut them and cross my fingers that my mess didn't cause too much damage. Alright, time to cut this and I've got lots of air pockets in this. The other bar is worse than this. I won't even show you that. <laughs> and there goes an embed. Eh? Yeah. Do I like planets? <laughs> Wow, that's cool. I like that. I've already lost an embed over here. You did? Yeah. Would you knock it off? I did. Goof. I'm, I like winning, it. I'm winning on this one, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a good way. No. Very nice. I like it. Yeah, mm. look at that. That's too cool. I think I like the little specks of white that I put in there. Mm -hmm, I like that too. I think next time I try this, I don't know if I want to work with a better fragrance or something. Like, I made a huge mess in the soap. Lots got... of air pockets, lots of acceleration. Yeah, it just got really ploppy on you. Ploppy. <laughs> I like it's, it. It's still really cool though. It's a very cool like um, variation on your moon soaps, it just reminds me of. It has many moons in this soap. <laughs> <laughs> That's no moon. That's no moon. It's a, what's he said? Starship? It's a star base. Yeah. Oh, cool. A blue one. And the purple turned out really good in there, too. Yeah, I like it. And more planets next time, I think. <laughs> Even more planets? Yeah. Wow. Someone's thirsty. He always has to make some kind of appearance in my videos. Some noise, some shake. He's yeah, gotta he shakes. be eating or he's gotta be drinking. Really? You gonna be alright with all that drinking? <laughs> gonna get drunk, man. What's your favorite space thing, Bradley? What is my favorite space thing? Yeah. Space something. Mm. What, what do you think of when you think of space? I think of space. <laughs> The final frontier. These are the voyages of Jean-Luc Picard. Oh no. Alright, turning it around. Yeah, go ahead. I think of Star Trek, of course. 
I hate Star Trek. You are. I like the movies. We're getting divorced. Like, no, I like the Star Trek movies. I don't like the. You like the Star Trek movies with Chris Pine and stuff like that. You don't like the, the old <laughs> yes. ones. Yes. Well, no, you did watch some a couple old ones with me, didn't you? I think I might have. You like Jean Luc Picard's movies? Some of them are just a little ridiculous for me. All right. Gouda. <laughs> Earl Grey tea, hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just trim this one up and then I'll. Very nice. Good job on this soap. Girl. Look, you got a little sample. Cool. Very cool. All right. Are you gonna cut the other one? No. Not today. <laughs> I'm ashamed of that one. No. Never. I'm just gonna cut this cool one. <laughs> the cool one. It is cool though. It is very. Because cool. the other one I didn't put the stars on it, and this one I did. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. So. There you have it. I'm in love with them. I can't wait to make more of them, but I wanted to show you guys the two different loaves, the one with these star shreds in it and the one without. Let me know which one you guys like more, which one I should continue making more of. If you want to purchase the soap, it will be available on May 5th. You can grab one on the Etsy shop. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a question or comment down below. I promise I will get back to you guys. New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more fun soap making videos. And until next time, guys, smell you later.